Color is everything. Color grading isn't just about making an image look good. It's about emotion and it's about storytelling. And the best part, it can be done with one simple no tree. A no tree that gives beginners possibility and gives professionals versatility. I've tested this no tree for the past three months. I've used it on professional projects as well as my personal content. And the crazy part is, is I've used this no tree across multiple cameras and multiple camera brands. But first let's think about your favorite shows. They all have a consistent color palette and a visual identity. Take Severance for example, the pure white, the cold blue undertones, it's slow, calculated, and it's eerie. Now take White Lotus, vibrant, chaotic, alive. The colors are everywhere and that's intentional. Both these shows maintain their visual tone throughout the entire season and Recently, I've been pulling inspiration from them as they're the last two shows that I've really gone in depth watching. But this is the No Tree Volume 2. And before we jump in on how it works, go ahead and download it from my website. I'll have it linked in the description below. All right, setting up the No Tree. Once we're in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing you have to do is you drag the No Tree right into the color page and get started right there. And this is how I have it structured. The first note is the white balance, and this is where we adjust the temperature and the tint. We always wanna start with the proper white balance. It makes everything else down the line just a little bit easier. And you can use the color wheels or you can use the temperature and tint sliders to adjust the white balance based on the scene you're trying to evoke. And if you've done it properly, it's already exposed for the white balance you want straight out of camera. And then the second note is the pre-log adjustments. And this note is all about setting the foundation before applying a light. I adjust contrast and exposure usually just to balance the image out. Think of this as like prepping a canvas before you start painting. So the third note is the log node, and this is where we convert our footage into a Rec. 709 color space. For this, I use a color space transform. What that has is it has the input color space and you set to match your camera profile. You have the input gamma and you select the log profile you shot in. So S log, C log, D log, etc. You get the idea. And then the output color space, I always do Rec. 709. This keeps everything in a controlled color environment so that every adjustment we make afterwards is predictable. And right here is where you see the customization of the camera into the Rec. 709 color space. And then right after that is the skin tone isolation. And here's the trick to isolating skin tones so they stay natural. You use the qualifier tab with the pen tool, you click on the skin tone, so usually a face, and then you hit Shift H to isolate it, and you can see that it just pulls out the color of the skin. Now any adjustments we make on this node affect only the skin. And then right after that is the no skin tone adjustment. And this is where we fine tune the look of the image without affecting the skin tones. This node lets me push colors, add contrast or add saturation without throwing off the natural skin tones. And then finally, the last node is the film look creator effect. So with this effect, I keep the color at zero to maintain the integrity of my original color grade. And instead I add about five to 10% for the effect slider. I usually have selected the vignette, the halation and the bloom. And I keep those really minimal, like I said a little bit earlier, at five to 10%. It should enhance the image, but not distract from it. This no tree keeps my workflow structured and allows full control over every aspect of the color grading process. The best part is, once you have this set up, once you use this, it makes the color grading process more intuitive. And you can focus more on the creative side than wrestling with settings and nodes and all of those things. And one less coffee can get you this no tree. Just click the link in the description and add it to your cart and it's all yours for future projects. Purchasing this helps the channel a ton and every dollar goes right back into making more content for you guys. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear how this workflow works for you. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.